I've been living in my apartment for one year and I think it's finally time to start decorating it. So today I will be making a DIY pear pear garland and I want to write art is magic on it because I've been on a quest to finding more joy in my home by creating art. So my goal is to give a very cozy, romantic, a bit chic, retro <laughs> vibe to my apartment, uh, also keeping it fun. So usually where I go for decor, I go on Pinterest for inspiration. Uh, I also wanted to have ideas for the font I will be using for each letter. And the, the only thing with Pinterest is sometimes you get a lot of recommendations that are the same because the algorithm just shows you what you've just clicked on and stuff that looks a lot like it. So if you have any recommendations of specific accounts on Pinterest or any other platforms like YouTube channels or blogs or Instagram pages, whatever, even Tumblr, because it's back apparently, uh, if you have any recommendations, of uh, creative accounts that have good decor ideas or just artistic ideas uh, let me know in the comments and i'll definitely check it out so now let's talk about the plan for our diy garland so first i'm gonna trace all the letters with a cute fantasy style then i'm gonna be drawing on all of the letters a different pattern i just want to have fun with it and then last step is cutting it out uh, cut, and I'm also going to add a background to each letter, cutting the background out and gluing the string in between of all the letters. And then it's ready to hang on the wall. So let's get to it. I'm really excited to have something new decorating my apartment. Okay, okay so this is going to be the string that I'm going to be using to hang everything. I used white just because my walls are white and I'm thinking less is more, okay? Because <laughs> at the beginning I was hesitating using this, but then I'm scared that it's going to be too thick for the paper and I'm scared that I'm going to be sick of it. So let's see, at the end, if I feel like we need it, I'll just glue it on top of the first paper, you know what I mean? So what I'm gonna be doing is trying to fit the 10 letters on this sheet of paper and uh, try to trace very, very lightly because I'm gonna be using these colors. So I love red and greens. I have a pop of dark green here to make more contrast and I have a pop of uh, bright fluorescent yellow green these are the colors I'll be using. So first, since we have 10, I'm gonna separate this, I think, in four and three. So there's gonna be 12 sections. It's like meditation, like drawing mandalas and this kind of uh, repet repetitive patterns. And 
and I think it's like cute and romantic which is an aesthetic that I like I hope this will be a big difference enough. Yes. <gasps> yeah, it's orange. That's really nice. Yeah. Okay, that was a good choice. I could do another gradient, but for the greens. While I'm drying, it's like a workout. It's like when I play piano, I'm always uh, almost using my shoulders and my and my biceps just to play. They look like a watermelon. They look good together. I love this pink. It's like a um, blush, like a nude pink. We already have a light yellow background and I love to mix hot and cold and here I think it's the perfect way to do it. Yeah, I'm so happy with this one. Okay, <laughs> okay, I'm trying to hide the result. So are you ready for the reveal? And three, two, more art projects like this for sure my goal is to make art to bring joy into my life into my home don't hesitate to subscribe if you want to see the next video i'll be doing next week if you're curious to see what i'm gonna do i have so many ideas but even i don't know what i'm gonna be doing exactly but uh thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next week for another art project